Hey guys, Tony Bryson here, and welcome back to the channel. And this video is about to be awesome, okay? Because the lowest paying job here pays you around $35,000. That's around $18 per hour. And the highest one is kind of like two fifty, dollars like dollars like $250,000. And on top of that, there are some here that have absolutely no cap on how much money you're actually able to earn. And to me, that is awesome. Because when I was looking for videos about making money and stuff to do from home, I always found like these very stupid videos about, well, you can do this survey, you can do this survey for like $5 and $15, but then it's very inconsistent and it never works out. So one promise I have for you guys is this, okay? I have a hatred for surveys. So this video contains absolutely no surveys at all. Not in person, not from home, not over calls. There is absolutely none of that. However though, before I get into this video, I wanna give you guys and share with you guys a little very small story, but it's important, so I gotta share with you, okay? And this story is this. Again, when I was a kid, and I was also like a young adult, I wanted to make a lot of money. But the skills I had were not make a lot of money skills. So the things I was actually able to do, anyone out there could do it. So I was always getting paid minimum wage or making some little amount of money. But the more I increased my skills, and this became very hard to replicate, then guess what? I was able to earn a lot more money. So the amount of money you can earn is vastly based on your skills. And I did not learn these skills overnight. So make me a promise. While you watch this video, some of these jobs, they are all from home. I guarantee it. I made this video already, okay? They're all, from, well, I have this whole script. I haven't made the video before, but I have the whole script there. That's how I know that everything's here, okay? Uh, I, just, I just get on here and just like ramble on, okay? I have, I'm professional. But overall, I want you guys to promise me that while you're here in all these jobs, if they sound like, Tommy, I just don't have the skill to do this, or that's very hard, or that's very complex, remember, you're not stupid, you're not dumb, you just don't know. And I didn't know a lot of stuff. And you are able to learn, to be trained, and to be able to do some of this stuff to actually earn a lot of money. That's what you have to do. So when you find one of these jobs you're actually interested in, you're like, I don't know that skill. Well, don't be afraid to acquire it. The more complex something is, and you actually love it, it gives you an advantage. Because you love it, it's complex and it pays a lot of money. And that's exactly what you're looking for. And as always, do me a favor, guys, smash the like button on top of that. Also, if you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified, and comment down below any questions you might have during this video because I do answer all of the comments. Now, the very first job from home is gonna be customer service. Now, before you say, Tommy, that pays minimum wage and I don't wanna do that. Again, you're thinking about basic customer service that anyone can do. But when it comes to, for example, credit card customer service, a brokerage stock company stock customer service, and you also have, for example, an electric company's customer service, and you also have, for example, concierge customer service. That's like the fancy people that you call whenever you have like a credit card stuff, and you're like, hey, can you make me this appointment, blah, blah, blah. Those people, they don't get paid what average customer service agents get paid. The average is around $35,000 and above. So that's like around $18 per hour. And if you find a pretty good one, you can pay to get paid a lot more money. But the point is, don't think customer service is always just like dealing with rude people. No. There are a vast amounts of different levels and training and expertise when it comes to customer service, and that's why different people get paid different amounts of money. So I have a link down below. Click that link. It shows you the top 15 customer service jobs out there and see which one you're actually interested in. It's an article by Indeed. Indeed basically gets you to be hired and so on. So in case you guys don't know, Indeed's a pretty good place to get some resources, okay? Now, number two is actually trucking or a transportation logistics manager. Now, my cousin did this, and he was making around $70,000 a year. Now, whenever you hear the word manager, automatically you're like, Tommy, I cannot qualify to be a manager. The answer is true, but before he became the manager of logistics and so on, he was just doing like sales within the company. He was able to make good money also, around like 40 to 50K a year from his base salary and also from his commission. Now, you might ask me, Tommy, where did he work? I want to know. The answer is, can't tell you that, obviously. But you can go on Indeed. The link is down below also. And look over all of those companies that are offering, for example, the manager job. But also look for other positions that are basically hiring too to get your foot into the door. Now, whenever you think about this, imagine, for example, you're calling the truckers, you're calling the vendors, 
you're calling the people to make sure that everything is going well and is going to flow correctly, okay? That is transportation or logistics manager. $7,000 a year is not bad money and it's all from home, okay? Again, I told you, if it sounds complex, if it sounds difficult, assume it's a good thing because it means not everyone can do it and you can actually earn a lot more money. Number three is being a from home accountant or a bookkeeper. Now, I am an accountant because I graduated as one, never became a CPA, and never worked for somebody's other company. I did it all on my own. But overall, accountants can make a lot of money and will always have a job because every company needs an accountant, okay? So that's pretty cool stuff. But the big thing is that you don't need to be at the company to actually do the job. So I hired an accountant. My accountant lives in Florida, and she works from home for the past two years, and she's like, I actually like working from home. So I might get rid of the office, potentially, who knows, okay? But the idea is you're able to do these jobs from home. And as a bookkeeper, you can get the bookkeeper um, certificate or license or degree in like less than 24 months or so. So you're actually able to do that a lot faster than it would be, for example, to become an accountant that takes around like three to four years or so, depending on how fast you actually wanna do it. So there you go, those right there are some options. Bookkeeping, you won't make a crazy amount of money, but as an accountant, you can make, for example, fifty to seventy thousand dollars. Bookkeeper, thirty to forty thousand dollars, but it's not bad money. And again, it is from home. My favorite thing about from home work is that it gives you flexibility to do what you want to do and to do the work fast, to be done with it, and not to have to worry about I gotta do this for eight hours or else I'm gonna look like I'm not I'm lazy and like that. Like no, some work doesn't take eight hours. You will do it a lot faster and be a lot more proactive. And to me. That's awesome. Number four, software engineer. My friend, I have a lot of cool friends, huh? It's important. Make friends that are cooler than you so you can brag about them. That's pretty awesome. But my friend graduated doing software engineer, and he actually worked for IBM right out of college, making a little bit over um, six figures. To me, that is awesome. And now he works for Google, and he's making a little bit above $200,000, and to me, that is awesome. And he's doing a hybrid, so basically, he goes into the office for like two, three days in the week, and then he goes from home like for the rest of the week. And you might say, Tommy, it's from home, I want from home only. Well, the idea is that some of his friends that also work there, and he just submitted, by the way, he just admitted, for example, just to work from home because that's also an alternative. So just to work from home. Now, whenever you think work from home, remember, your home is wherever you are. So as long as you can do it from online, you can be in Tokyo or China. No one knows, no one cares, because as long as you're doing your job, that is all that matters. But be careful when it comes to tax, because you obviously gotta be in your main residence for at least six months out of the year to make sure you don't get run over with the taxes stuff, okay? So just be careful with that. Now, number five, video editor. The person right now that's editing this video, his name is Paul, and he edits my videos, and he makes money from home on the side too. And he has another job, I think it is, and he makes money from that too. He ain't going to his business. It's his personal business, okay? But he makes money by being a video editor. You can make anywhere from $15 to $25 to $50, $100 on big, big projects. But that is awesome because it's one of those jobs you can basically just learn on your own. And you don't have to be out there, for example, hey, can I edit your videos? Like random people from YouTube or whatever. No, you can go to a company that needs video editing that deals with like media stuff and be like, hey, I want to be your in-house editor. And now you have a fixed job right there from something that didn't take a degree or anything crazy to actually accomplish. Just make sure you have a portfolio and you show that you're actually able to do the job that you're basically talking about. I didn't ask Paul for a degree. I didn't even think about it. I don't care, okay? All I care is that you can get the job done. That's all that matters. Now, number six, human resources. These people are in charge of the life cycle of an employee. So that means from hiring all the way down to firing. And these people can make anywhere from like $47,000 a year to $69,000 a year, and that's not bad. And by doing this, you're actually able to make good money and you can also do it from home, okay? You don't need to be at the physical office to get it done, although some jobs do require it, not all jobs do. But Tommy, my job requires it. Look for another company, not that hard. Ha stop having all this fake loyalty for employers 
when they won't have that same loyalty for you when it's time to have cutbacks and cut you down and be like, hey, I'm sorry, we just can't afford you right now. Like they'll let you go. So understand it's business, you're providing a skill, nothing personal, but if you find somewhere else that suits you better and gives you what you want, then you go over there. But before you do that, obviously, have the courtesy to say, hey, I found this job, they're willing to do this. Can you, Are you actually able to do that for me? Obviously though, be careful because you might get fired. So just make sure that everything is in line and do some research on how to ask for, how to negotiate a salary or negotiate what you want. There's a good guy on this, his name is Tim Ferriss. Look him up on YouTube, Tim Ferriss, Job Negotiations. Also, Ramit Sethi, Job Negotiations. They have great videos and great subjects and articles and blogs about how to get raises and how to negotiate different things when it comes to a job. So don't be afraid to go to different places and ask for what you want. I hate that concept. I have a friend just like this, okay? She lives in Florida. She works for this company making 10 bucks an hour, and I'm like, you can work somewhere else, make a lot more money, but I love these people. Like, great stuff, you can love them, you don't have to work from them, and you can make a lot more money and just be a lot better off, okay? So there's that. Now, number seven, guys, is actually sales. Sales is one of the only jobs that I don't put a, a salary on because you can make $0 if it's just full commission, or you can make, for example, base salary and then plus a bunch of commissions, but there is no cap. When you do it, for example, you do real estate sales, insurance sales, car sales, product sales. One main thing is just make sure that whatever you're selling, you actually care about and you actually enjoy. You know how hard it is to sell something to somebody when you don't believe in the product? It feels like you're robbing them blind and it's not a good feeling, but if you actually believe in what you're selling them, you're like, hey, this is gonna help you, it's actually pretty good. I hope this actually helps you, okay? So it's a lot easier to do your job and there is no ceiling. And don't be afraid, there are a lot of jobs out there that do have a base salary, so you kinda get the basics to actually live, but then you can also do like the job and earn a lot more commission. Now obviously, to do this, it's not just, you know, my mom told me when I was growing up, I'm a good salesperson. There's that, right? Naturally gifted stuff, but there's also like a lot of books and a lot of knowledge to be acquired to understand psychology of sales. So the more experience you become via knowledge, you will become a better person at this job. So you're able to make an, equa an equation based thing a lot more money. So don't just stop at, I know how to do some sales, I'm gonna get the training. No, go above and beyond if you wanna make a lot more money and know more than your peers. That's how you get things done. You ever wonder why some people make a lot more money and some people in the same field say, just things are just struggling. I'm just struggling. Things are going bad for me. Well, it's because those two people, although they work the same exact job, they don't have the same level of skills. And sometimes luck. That's also a part of it too, okay? Now, number eight is e-commerce. That involves, for example, Shopify. It involves Amazon FBA. And it involves just selling things online. I always have to include this because everyone always thinks that when you work from home, it's just you having a business, and this is a business, okay? Because you're building something from home. I want you guys to research retail arbitrage. It's kind of like from home, but you do have to go out and buy products and then sell them online, so that's pretty cool. And you also have, for example, drop shipping. Research those terms because it's interesting way to make some money online. You can basically start off in one month and be up and running just like that potentially. But again, anything that has to do with business is not a short thing and it shouldn't be a short thing. And if it was a short thing, everyone would do it and then you probably wouldn't make as much money. But seek the knowledge first. Now, number nine is monetize your interests. Gotta say this, YouTube, podcasts, digital products, all this stuff is amazing and super important. So if you're interested in cooking or in, for example, writing, or guitar, guitar playing, I can't even say guitar anymore, guitar, 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 how do you say guitar? I can't say that word, okay, whatever. But if you're interested in whatever you're interested in, and you can make, for example, a digital product and basically sell it online for some money, why not do it? But Tommy, I don't know how to sell something online. I don't know how to make a website. I don't know how to do a whole digital um, campaign or whatever it is. The answer is, what you don't know how to do, write it all down and Google it. It's not as hard as you think it is. There's a great book on this. It's called Will It Fly by Pat Flynn. He's a great author. And this guy goes into detail how to take an idea from being an idea to being a real business. And that is awesome. Will It Fly by Pat Flynn. That is the name of the book. But you got to understand that what you want to achieve, which is to work from home, doesn't involve like, hey, I'm going to watch Netflix and just be getting checks in the mail. It doesn't work like that. No one's going to pay you for that. But if you're actually able to do what you like, make some money while you do it from home. That's awesome stuff, okay? Now, number 10, and the last one here, 
before I give you a bonus for making it all the way to the end of the video. And by the way, if you made it here, comment down below, home. It's the only way I can distinguish, for example, real comments from fake comments because it's gotten that fast. So if you want to comment down below support, just comment home. And if you want to say something, just comment home plus your comment. That way I know that you're actually real and not a bot, okay? But number 10 is language teacher. So if you know an extra language or just tutoring overall, you can do these things from home. You can go to a tutor website, teach someone in China, Belgium, wherever they're at, and you can teach them just English. And by the way, it's not like you need to know their language. You just need to know your, your language, which is English. And you can teach them and make $15, $25 an hour, potentially even more. And that is pretty awesome if you ask me. Now, the bonus here, because you made it all the way to the end of the video. I have this friend I just made in church, okay? And she's pretty cool. But her whole thing is that she works for a company that gets the data for streamers out there. You know, like the streamer, the people that do the whole streaming stuff, they grab that data and they basically create information blocks on it and say, hey, um, you're doing this well, doing that well. They basically interpret the data. She works in the back office of that, I think also doing accounting potentially. But the idea is there are a lot of jobs within accounting you can also basically do that are within industries that you wouldn't even imagine. And I have another friend and I met him at the gym which is a cool guy, by the way, but he's actually um, working for the government. And I was looking up, for example, like, are there a lot of government jobs that are from home? Because he works from home too. And the answer is yes. He actually works from home. And there are also a lot of job government jobs that are basically from home. So do a quick Google search and type in, for example, um, from home work government. And you'll see, for example, a lot of links pop up. Make sure the links are official, right? Don't get scammer for NAS putting your information somewhere you don't, it doesn't belong right? Be realistic and just look them up, okay? And see exactly, well, how much money can I get paid for this stuff? Because remember, the government, all that customer service stuff, all those offices, all that from homework, all that data processing, it all has to go through, for example, a job force, a workforce. So you can be a part of that, make some money and get some great benefits also at the same time. So why not do it? Now, as I told you guys, this video, it's, it's a lot of money in this video, a lot of money, but none of it is simple. None of it is you can just get on today, start tomorrow, and none of it is that because that's not realistic and that's not the video I'm trying to make. And most of these videos are trash. And I'm trying to give you something that although it is from home, it's a from home job career thing. So you can do it for as long as you actually want to, make a good amount of money, have flexibility, and get the life you actually want to get. I don't want you to be making $1,000 a month or like $2,000 a month and be like, oh, I work from home, it's pretty good stuff. But you're barely able to live the lifestyle that you actually want to live. So making anywhere above like $40,000, 50, 60, 80, 90, 100, that's amazing money in my opinion, okay? All I need is like $30,000 to live and I'm fine to go, but $40,000 is a pretty good amount for the average person that's not crazy like I am. But thanks for watching guys. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, comment down below. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment down below. When you comment, comment down below. What was the, the, the acronym I put? Um, job? Was it job? Was it home? Yeah, I think it was home, right? So comment down below, home. So that way I know that you're actually a real comment. As always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. On top of that, here is another video. Here is my face. Click subscribe. And thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And as always, long-term team officially out.